thing is that if you look to the entire month of June, investors have been gravitating toward growth. But if you look at the past week, they rotated back into value. You had energy, financials, and industrials be the strongest performers uh, in the, the week ending June 25th. Uh, you also had mid and small cap stocks as outperformers. Um, but if you look at the entire month, then no, the technology shares along with other growth areas have been doing better. So I think right now what is happening is that investors are simply engaging in rotation rather than retreating from stocks altogether, which in my view is a positive sign because it indicates that we still have broad participation or breadth as it's called, uh, which is encouraging for further advances. Uh, I think that's certainly a possibility. Uh, I do worry, however, if the retail investor is the, is the sole source of propulsion, if you will, for the stock market, because usually retail investors are either contrary or lagging indicators. Uh, and a lot of strategists look to the American Association of Individual Investors, their investor sentiment poll. And if there are too many bulls, then the professionals say, well, it's probably time for the market to pull back. So um, I would hope for both institutional and retail optimism rather than just from the retail side. Well, the banking stocks have already done very well, uh, as well as the financial sector itself. It was the second best performing sector since the nearly 10% decline that we experienced in late September of 2020. So from September of 2020 to present, uh, energy was the best performer, financials the second best performer. But now with these 23 major banks having passed their stress test, and the Treasury and Fed essentially saying, OK, it's going to be OK for you guys to now raise your dividends and increase share buybacks. Uh, that's one of the reasons why the regional banks were in the top 10 in terms of sub-industry performances last week. So our, our belief is that, yes, there could be some good opportunities down the road. I think that longer term, the energy area is a good place to be. In the near term, we could see the growth sectors uh, take a leadership role as interest rates remain at or below 1.5%. Uh, but I think that as the economy continues to expand, as the international economies uh, participate as well, I think there will be continued upside pressure on oil prices and that could be beneficial to many oil companies, especially some of the larger integrated companies that also offer a nice dividend yield uh, when you look at what the 10-year note is yielding versus what many of these stocks are yielding. Uh, it ends up being a no. Well, obviously, we have um, buy recommendations on many stocks within all of those sectors. Uh, I would tend to say those that have the greatest number of CFRA uh, buy and strong buy recommendations in descending order would be technology, financials, uh, and then third would be energy. So there are good opportunities. I don't really think cash is the place to be at this point. Um, maybe tapering starts to take place late this year, early next year. Maybe we start to see the first rate increase late next year, early 2023. So I, I think it's, it's too early to be bailing out of stocks and moving into cash. Uh, there's an old saying that you're better off buying than you are bailing. And so whatever near-term weakness we have, uh, investors are probably better off looking at those longer-term growth opportunities. Mm -hmm.